Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I just checked out from the Borgata Hotel and Casino. Had a wonderful night here, went to the buffet. Uh, I'm going to bring you that video. I did a room tour as well. I'm staying at the Hard Rock tonight, but before I head over there to check in, I uh, decided I'm going to, first of all, do a slot pull at Harrah's. I'll bring you that video separately. Uh, but while I'm here close to the Brigantine Bridge, I'm going to head over to Brigantine and see what it looks like this time of the year. I did a video in Brigantine during the summer. It's a beautiful place. Get lots of comments on that video. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for just a little ride before I head over to Harrah's just to see what Brigantine looks like. Let's go check it out, shall we? cards here at MGM gets me free parking so that's pretty cool For those of you not familiar with the area, uh, that's the Borgata on our left hand side and the Brigantine Bridge is straight ahead. It's basically at the Borgata's doorstep and it's a great place to visit. As soon as you come over the Brigantine Bridge into Brigantine, uh, there's a strip mall with a supermarket and a couple of places to eat and a Walgreens and just about anything you might possibly need during your visit here to Brigantine. This is Frankie the Flip Flop, he follows me around all my Jersey Shore videos. Sometimes he's elusive, sometimes he's very easy to find. Spot him in this video, note the time you spotted him in the comments below, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. That's the Atlantic City boardwalk skyline across the water here, the Brigantine Inlet, and uh, they're doing some work here, they're doing some drainage work, that's why all these big pipes are here. Perhaps the scariest tree in New Jersey. This tall wild grass that grows all along the Jersey Shore are called cat's tails. They do allow four-wheel drive vehicles all along the shore here in Brigantine, but there's a yearly permit that costs $300. Ka-ching! We're on the beach now, and this is the Laguna Bar and Grill, and right next to it, this uh, old historic building is the Brigantine Inn, a historic resort that was built in 1927. According to local lore, the inn was frequented by Al Jolson and Al Capone. There was a famous meeting of mob bosses nearby in Atlantic City in 1929, two years after the inn was opened. Today, Brigantine Inn is a timeshare run by Celebrity Resorts. Well, it doesn't look like much right now, but during the season, believe me, this place is hopping. You guys who follow me know that I love the beach, and it's not just for the summer. It's beautiful in the wintertime. It's beautiful all year round. Yeah. 
This is St. Thomas the Apostle Church, built in 1927. And if you're observant like I am, you'll notice that Jesus is facing the casinos. Last time I was here in Brigantine and did a video, you guys had mentioned that I totally missed the north end of the beach. I'm pretty sure this is the area you guys were talking about. If not, leave a comment because I'll be back this summer as well. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video and if you are, give it a thumbs up and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to the New York channel already, subscribe right now. It really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you'd like to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I appreciate your support, guys. And a shout out to recent Super Thanks subscribers, The Jolly Llama, as well as Nikita Watson. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your support. Some of you also mentioned as I uh, head towards the north to make sure I check out the Pirate's Den, which is a cafe right behind me, closed right now. But again, no worries, I'll return. And according to the website, Brigantine Beach is one of New Jersey's premier destinations for living and visiting. Spend the day sailing or kayaking around Brigantine Island, swimming in the ocean, or relaxing on the beach and enjoying the natural beauty that Brigantine Beach has to offer. There's plenty to see and do in this scenic Atlantic County town on the southern Jersey shore with many miles of coastline just minutes from Atlantic City, less than an hour from Philadelphia, and less than two hours from New York City. Or should I say New York City? Looks like a turtle and a frog just chilling out. Hey, if amphibians can get along, why can't we? In case you're wondering why all the flags are at half staff today, they're actually half staff all week to honor the victims of the uh, recent tragedy in Monterey Park, California.
my New Yorkers is Brigantine and Brigantine Beach in the winter time. Uh, beautiful place to visit. If you're in Atlantic City and uh, you're there for several days and you're looking for something different to do outside of the boardwalk and the casinos and stuff, uh, it's just a short drive. If you came by car, you can obviously drive your own car or you can take an Uber here and just uh, go around the beach if you want. And it's just a fun place to visit. Uh, and again, it's very close to Atlantic City, right over the bridge. So I'm coming back this summer, maybe spend a day on the beach. Of course, I'll take you guys with me. And uh, that's it. I'm on my way to Harris. Going to go back over the bridge and uh, do a little slot pull. So that video will be coming up here on the New York channel shortly. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like, comment, ask some questions and most importantly subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.